Okay, so we got the new microphone set up, so hopefully there's less wind this time. I don't know if that's pointed too high. Okay. <gasps> Jacob's coming. What bike are you on? What is that? One of the old Merlin 7s. Emperor Pass. See you on video soon. I'm gonna go inside and show off some of the Merlin 5s. Nice. So I posted a new video, um, a little different, that trail run, kind of relaxing, ASMR, kind of whatever, I don't know. Um, but we have got the new Merlin 5s in. Almost all the colors, I think all of the colors are in. So we'll go check out some of those. The Merlin 7s are still not in. We have a couple Merlin 6s in, not everything. I have seen leaked images on a Trek Bicycles Facebook page of all the Fuel EXs. So because they're there now, they're still not on the Trek front end uh, public website. I'm gonna make a video about them. We'll talk about some of the upgrades I think are coming. Uh, sounds like the Marlin, not the Marlin. Sounds like the Fuel X5 is going to have uh, a Shim Shimano Dior 1x12, which is crazy good. We'll have that dropper post. Um, but yeah, the Dior 1x12 I think is gonna be used on a lot of bikes. Um, the price seemingly they're putting it right at like $600 retail for the full setup which is not that much more different than like the Dior 1x10 so right now any bike I think over $2,000 which would have had a 1x10 on it any full suspensions this will be for any brand I think I think will now have a 1x12 on it uh, with little to no price change and that's the way the Fuel X5 is looking so 1x12 drop a post good suspension like it's gonna be a ridiculously good bike for hopefully $2,800 which is kind of crazy um, eight years ago you would have got an absolute junk of a bike compared to what you're getting now for a very small price upgrade doesn't look like any of the other fuels are changing but we will see about that and let's go check out some Merlin 5s then Here are the other two colors. Still echoing in here even with a microphone. Um, you do have the the fade to black in the Merlin 5. They did not put the color match grips or pedals as first pictured. And with the Merlin 5s, they are on three by as opposed to two by. The Trek black with gray looks really nice. It's been a popular one. Black is always one of the most popular colors. Um, this combination is just super clean looking. So yeah, with the Merlin 5s, they didn't change anything like expected. Um, they didn't go to a two by system, which is kind of a bummer. Um, you still get good range with a three by seven, but the less gears on the front, the simpler it is. Merlin 6 was just a color change. This lettering accent at the top here is a reflection of Trek, but only on each side, so. Kind of cool. 